If you are looking for the budget-friendly stereo receivers in this year, you are at the right place. In this video, we're going to show you the budget-friendly stereo receivers available on Amazon today. We reviewed literally dozens of products and we made this list based on a number of factors including the features of the product, value for the money, and the reputation of the manufacturer. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. We even read countless reviews from actual users. If you choose from this list, you can be sure that you'll buy one of the best products available today. So make sure to check the product links below in the description and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Sony SDR-190 Stereo Receiver. If you have relatively straightforward needs when it comes to a stereo receiver and don't want to spend a bundle, it's hard to do much better than Sony's SDR-190 Stereo Receiver. It lacks frills such as Wi-Fi and Ethernet connectivity, or any voice assistant integration, but it nails the basics and does so at a stellar price. It has plentiful ports, as well as Bluetooth for wirelessly streaming music from an MP3 player, smartphone, or computer. There are some creature comforts here that serious users may miss, and the more technical slash view aficionados may want to look elsewhere and spend more. But for the average buyer who wants to snag a stellar stereo system for $150 or less, the SDR-190 is a steal. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Fosi Audio BT Tina, a tiny two-channel amp that fits in the palm of your hand. The Fosi Audio BT Tina is an ideal choice for those who want to upgrade the audio on their laptop tablet, phone, or stereo system. It has Bluetooth connectivity with a range of 50 feet, so you can wirelessly stream music from your device. There's also an aux input if you want a wire connection. This is a simple unit, with a few dials on the front to control the volume, bass, and treble, and it has only 50 watt power per channel. However, for a device that costs well under $100, it serves as an affordable way to add hi-fi sound without taking up too much space. The number 3 position is held by Yamaha RS200 Tubal Stereo Receiver, coming in at 17-1-8x5-1-2 inches in a pretty light 14.8 pounds. Yamaha's affordable RS200 Tubal Receiver has a sleek design and conserves energy by automatically kicking into standby mode, which uses up just 0.5 volt power. The RS200 Tubal has FM slash and preset tuning for up to 40 stations, 100 watt output per channel, and Bluetooth compatibility to wirelessly stream music from a smartphone, tablet, or other device. You can connect this receiver to two separate sets of speakers, if desired, and easily switch between the outputs thanks to the helpful selector that lets you pick from either or both at the same time. Next at number 4 we have Yamaha RN300 3-Ball Stereo Receiver. Wi-Fi connectivity isn't on the top of the list for many affordable stereo receivers, but it's one thing that helps set the Yamaha RN300 3-Ball Stereo Receiver apart. Link it to your Wi-Fi network and you'll gain access to Amazon's Alexa Voice Assistant, which can let you select songs with voice controls and access music from Pandora, Spotify, Tidal, and SiriusXM. Additionally, a MusicCast app can connect to both those services and your computer's audio library and lets you play music in up to 9 additional rooms. You also get AirPlay support for easy connectivity to Apple devices. Elsewhere, this 17.12x 5.5x 13.4-inch stereo receiver has a traditional black box design like most of its competitors and provides two channels of 100 watt output apiece. Limited inputs might put a hamper on surround sound playback, however, but the optical input makes TV hookups a breeze. The number 5 position is held by Pile PT392 Bluetooth Amplifier System. If cost is your biggest driver in choosing a stereo receiver and you can deal without high-end output or sophisticated design, the Pile PT392 Bluetooth Amplifier System might be a solid pick. Likewise, while many receivers opt for minimal, boxy design, this Pile model looks more akin to a super-sized, standalone car stereo, complete with a bright, glowing screen. Still, it's a versatile device with Bluetooth wireless connectivity for your smartphone or tablet, along with support for SD cards and USB sticks. The PT392 could do well as an entry-level pick. The number 6 position is dominated by Malky Mamp on Bluetooth 5.0 Power Home Audio Amplifier, a dual-channel amplifier with 220 watt peak power. The Malky Bluetooth amplifier offers Bluetooth streaming from a device that's only 10 inches wide, 4 inches tall, and 8 inches in depth. The compact device has several ports, including two RCA inputs, two 2.5-inch microphone inputs, a headphone jack, a USB port, an SD card slot, a 3.5-ohm aux port, and an FM radio antenna. On the front of the Malky amp, 
There are dials for adjusting the microphone volume, as well as the echo, treble, bass, and balance, making this an ideal device for karaoke. Although this is a budget unit that comes in at less than $75, you can use it for a variety of purposes from music to desktop audio. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Pioneer SX10E. Pioneer is a trusted brand that makes a variety of high-quality budget equipment. The SX10E offers the best quality, specs, and features that we've seen in the sub-$200 price point. It has a dedicated subwoofer input, Bluetooth compatibility, and two 165U channels each with two pairs of five-way binding posts, which is enough to power pretty much any pair of speakers and gives you some setup options. The back panel is also simple and easy to understand for the newly initiated. The number 8 position is held by Sony SDR590. Sony is also a long-trusted brand and the SDR590 has come for the lowest price we've seen among full-featured 5X AV receivers. It will be sufficient for pretty much any entry-level home theater system. Most of the comparable competition costs hundreds more. The only slight criticism we have is that the surround speaker inputs are spring clips instead of binding posts. It doesn't ultimately affect sound quality, but spring clips are just generally more annoying to deal with. Next, at number 9, we have Yamaha RX V385. Yamaha is yet another long trusted brand, and their RX V385 is also available for under $300 and really close to the SDRD590. All of the RX V385 speaker terminals are binding posts, and the interface panel is a little better. It also has some nice extras, like a USB slot that the SDRD590 doesn't have. The only reason this isn't the number one pick is that there's only support for one subwoofer while the SDRD590 can support two, and that's worth more than a few minor extras in our opinion. That being said, using two subwoofers isn't common, and a single well-placed subwoofer can almost always do the job just fine by itself. If you don't care about adding a second subwoofer, then the RX V385 is slightly better than the SDRD590. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Pioneer VSX 534, also available for under $300 and close to the competition. Supports two subwoofers but also has spring clips for the surround speakers. This unit also supports Dolby Atmos and has power slash accuracy specs that squeak slightly ahead. But whether either will yield a perceptible improvement to 5.2 sound is unlikely we'd say. That's all for today, thanks for watching. We upload all types of product review videos with buying advisory intention every single day. So. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.